Isn't the Labour government's sudden desire for electoral reform an ill-disguised attempt to lessen the blow of what seems an inevitable large defeat at the next general election under first-past-the-post? Isn't what the public wants just an election now? Well, I have sympathy with the question that there is a correlation between parties uh, usually being in opposition for a long time and then deciding that electoral reform is a good thing, whereas normally once a party is in government, um, it actually finds the present system uh, is quite acceptable. Now, the present government may be thinking, well, whoops, we might be better off um, with another under another um, electoral system. And I can't see any benefits in changing from our present electoral system because the present system delivers what I call core accountability. That is, electors have the opportunity to sweep a government out at the next election. There's no political musical chairs where it's the same people stay in power even though they may have lost uh, lots of votes. So I, I can't see a great advantage in switching to a system that destroys that core accountability and transfers power from admittedly the largest single party to what may be one of the smallest parties. Um, it's argued we should change to a system of proportional rep representation. But what the proportionality refers to is seats in relation to votes. If you get 10% of the votes, you get 10% of the seats. That misses out the proportionality of political power. 10% of the votes equal 10% of the seats does not then equal 10% of the negotiating power in the House of Commons. It can lead to a great deal more than that. So in terms of political power, it's not proportional.